Maybe you think plants are boring. I mean, after all, how exciting can they really be? Well, hold that thought while I introduce you to one of the most amazing living organisms in the world, the Rafflesia arnoldi, also known as the stinking corpse lily. So what's so amazing about this plant, you might ask? Well, first, it has the largest flower of any plant in the entire world. The flower can grow to be three feet across, and it can weigh 20 pounds. Now, 20 pounds is about five pounds more than the heaviest bowling ball you've ever seen. But this flower doesn't grow on a stem with leaves like other flowers. The Rafflesia is a parasite plant, and it grows inside of a vine called a tetrastigma vine. And that vine is a relative to the grape. And when a Rafflesia flower first pops out of the vine, it looks like a pale cabbage plant. But then it spreads five large petals that are a fleshy red color with raised white speckles or dots. So probably you want to know why it's called the stinking corpse lily. Well, the huge flower gives off a horrible odor that smells literally like a dead animal. The red petals dotted with white speckles are supposed to resemble rotting meat with maggots on them. This disgusting disguise draws carrion flies and beetles to the flower and they're searching for food. They're thinking something is dead and they show up and they shuttle inside the flower and they're looking for a meal only to discover that there's no meal there. But as they're walking around on the flower petals and in the flower, the pollen of this huge blossom attaches to the bugs and they spread that pollen to other Rafflesia flowers. And this pollinates the flowers. And after the pollination, a single stinking corpse lily can produce over four million seeds. And some of those seeds are carried on the feet of squirrels or maybe an elephant or another animal. And when those seeds find a tetrastigma vine, they begin to grow and start the process all over. The Rafflesia arnoldi is a very rare flower, and it's only found in the rainforest in Sumatra and Borneo. And this huge flower only blooms for about one week. So if you get to see one, you are very lucky. In the Bible book of James, we read in chapter 1, verse 11, that men's lives are like flowers. They blossom for a short time, and then they fade or vanish away, just like the Rafflesia bloom. The amazing design of this plant it can't help but show us God's power and His creativity. And the brevity of its flower can help us understand that we should use our short lives on this earth to bring glory to our amazing Creator.